Who would have thought 10 years ago that we would have had our first PowerShell Summit over on Microsoft campus, right? Two, I think it was about 100 or so people, two conference rooms, two different buildings. Jason was there. He can tell you how terrible that was. The content was great, but having to walk from one building to the other was not that great. But here we are 10 years later at the beautiful Marriott, and I'm so glad that all of you could make it. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine, too. All right, so my name is James, and I'm the CEO uh, for the DevOps Collective, and I am also the, com the conference chair, if you kind of will, if you, if you want to place a title on that. If you don't, that's also fine. Uh, but this is not the James conference. I actually had very little to do with planning the event other than like of signing of the contracts and stuff. Uh, we have a great group of volunteers. We are an all-volunteer organization. We have Missy and Kevin. They are the ones that did the schedule and the content. They read through a little over 200 CFPs uh, that were submitted by some amazing community members to only fill 50 slots. Like, so what is that, about 25% chance of getting, of getting your session actually, actually selected. I do not envy the work that they have to do, because I do this for a PowerShell Saturday, and that is rough enough. And I only have 20 sessions, much less 50. So they did an amazing job. They, they did all the schedule. They, they did everything. So we give uh, Missy and Kevin a good uh, round of applause. Somewhere in this room, running around like a chicken with his head cut off, we have John. He is our logistics director. He is the one that is responsible for everything from the color, literally the color of the tablecloth, to how many chairs there are at the table, to picking the menu, going to FedEx, and picking up a sign later today. Anything dealing with the hotel, John has taken care of, and he's done an amazing job. Yes, John, John deserves extra. He is also coordinating the poker, the poker, knife, the poker night we're going to have today. We're going to talk a little bit about that later. And then our social media coordinator and also the co-host of the PowerShell News, News podcast, we have Harjeet. And then Mick is in the back somewhere. I really can't see because the lights. Uh, but Harjeet takes care of all of our social media and does all the pictures and stuff online for us. He's also our unofficial photographer. So when the DevOps Collective was originally uh, founded, you know, we started as PowerShell.org. We were then rebranded as the DevOps Collective for, uh, well, it was for tax, purpose, tax purposes, to be honest. So we're a 501c3, and part of our mission is education and community give back. So we realized that... We, you know, we are great at organizing conferences, but we are also kind of tech nerds ourselves, and we all have real jobs. So we don't have the capacity to actually run any kind of educational, educational outreach on our own. So what we do is we found a nonprofit that already does this. So we have partnered with Tech Impact, I think, for the last, since 2017. So we're at what, about six years now. We have partnered with Take Impact, and we specifically support their Las Vegas IT Works program. And to kind of help tell you a little bit more th about that, we have Heidi, who's the development director for IT Works. Thank you, James. So, hello, everybody. Um, my name is Heidi Erpling Welch. I am the Chief Program Officer for Tech Impact. So, Tech Impact is a nonprofit um, that really uses technology for good. So, we, I like to say we have two different branches or two different arms of our organization. So, we do capacity building for other nonprofits. So, we are the managed services provider for about 300 nonprofits. We do consulting for nonprofits, it's all within the nonprofit realm. But the other side of that is the portion that I oversee. So we do workforce development programs for underrepresented populations to get their foot in the door into IT. Um, so we have programs in Philadelphia, we have programs in Delaware, and we have programs in Las Vegas. And we are privileged enough to be supported by this organization um, to support the programs that we have in Las Vegas. And I am, I am based in Las Vegas, but I oversee the programs across the country. Um, and we've been in uh, existence for about 20 years for, for Tech Impact, but we've been doing the workforce development portion for about seven years. Um, and through that, we've already served over 1,000 students. 
Um, so we work with folks who are 18 to 26 years old. Uh, they are typically underrepresented populations in IT, so we're helping diversify the, the IT world. Um, and they're folks who haven't had access to formalized education. So they typically have a high school degree or G GED, but they don't have a bachelor's degree or anything beyond that. So we put them through a 16-week program. So 11 weeks is instruction in the classroom, and then five weeks is a paid internship that we help arrange for each of these students. So it's a great opportunity for us to get them connected in the, in the community, but also to get them the paid experience that's necessary to get their foot in the door into IT. And we are um, celebrating our 20th year um, with a few different uh, events this, this year. So we've got some great things happening in the organization and we're very proud of that. Um, but the thing that we're proud of most is the outcomes for our students. So we're working with students to get them placed in these positions and six months after they're done with our educational programs, there's 80% of them are still in the IT workforce. Um, and so that's, that's due to the community partnerships that we have. So um, we don't do this alone. So each of our cohorts of students are placed with a mentor. So every single student has a mentor. We try to find folks who have had similar journeys, um, but that can be challenging in the IT field because there's a lot of folks who um, have come through more traditional journeys to get into their, sp their space. And we try to find folks who have other experience that they can share with these students as well. 80% um, of the curriculum is IT-based, but 20% of the curriculum is how do you survive in the workforce? How do you do an internship? How do you do an interview? How do you write a resume? How do you communicate in the workplace? What do these workplaces even look like? Um, so that's where the community partnerships with organizations like your own, the organizations that we have in our communities are so important. So we're, we're helping identify those organizations that can expose them to different uh, cultures, different workplace environments. Um, because a lot of our students are coming from either, you know, the retail space or they're coming from food service. A lot of their family members haven't been in an office setting or in a corporate setting. So we work with other folks to make sure that they're exposed to different environments and exposed to different pathways so that they really feel like they belong in these new workplaces that they're, they're being placed in. Um, the DevOps Collective has done a great job of ensuring that our students have access to your conference through scholarships and um, have ensured that our students continue to get exposed to new technologies and continue to find ways to, um, to advance in their career. And James is on our advisory board and we're very grateful for his service in the advisory board. Um, I do welcome any of you to come chat with me about our organization or opportunities for you to volunteer. Um, because it is such a community effort, we have over 100 volunteers with every single cohort of students that we have coming through. And so if you're thinking about two cohorts in Las Vegas, two cohorts in Philadelphia, and two cohorts in Delaware. That takes a lot of folks to really make sure that these students are supported and that they find their path into the IT field. So I'm pretty sure I'm the only person with red pants on today. Um, so you can reach out to me if you see me throughout the day and I'll be at your happy hour tonight as well. Um, I can give you more information on our organization or opportunities for you to get involved. We always welcome folks um, into, the, into our, uh, our opportunities for volunteerism. Um, and it's super important that our students are exposed to individuals within these career fields so that they, you know, they have an opportunity to see their path forward. Um, I can tell you that I am not a tech person, so if you try to talk to me about any of your projects, I probably have no idea what you're saying to me, but I will nod my head and say that sounds awesome. Um, but I am an educator, I'm an administrator. Um, I love to talk about our organization and I'm very passionate about the work that we're doing and we're so grateful for the, the collaboration that we have with your organization and the support that we receive from all of you. So I'll be around today. Um, feel free to grab me and chat with me if you are interested in being more involved um, or if you just wanna know more about you know, the support that we're providing our students or the support that we're providing other nonprofits and what you can do. Um, even if you don't wanna do anything with me, I am also just gonna be sitting here not knowing anybody. So I welcome you to come talk to me and make me feel welcome too. Um, but thank you again for letting me come in and uh, letting me be a part of your, um, uh, your conference. Um, our CEO, who does know all the tech stuff, will be here this afternoon. So if you do want to tech talk, do tech talk stuff, I will point you to him. Um, if you want to talk about the fun stuff with the programs, you can come chat with me. But um, I welcome any of you to learn more about our organization. And thank you again for having me. And so we do have one other announcement, and I was really excited because you know, I've known this for months, but I haven't told Pat or Heidi, and I was really hoping Pat was going to be here, but I'll just have to tell him later. Uh, so obviously, there was this little thing called a pandemic that happened a couple years ago, and so we were not able to contribute financially to Tech Impact like we had, like we had in the past. So today, I'm proud to announce that we are uh, able to make our first financial 
contribution back to tech impact, the amount of, you can do it. Yeah, the amount of $5,000 that helped go towards uh, funding the IT Works program in Las Vegas. <laughs> right. So that, that, that's, that's really exciting. So the first time since 2019, that we, or since 2020, since we were able to make a, fi a financial impact. And I believe 5,000 pays for, I think, about one student to actually, or maybe one and a half students, to go through the entire 16-week program. OK, so let's talk about what's going to happen for the rest of the week. If you've been here to the summit before, you're, uh, you're, pre you're pretty familiar, I think. First time attendees, raise your hand. I think it's about 60% of the room. Oh, it's a lot more than 60% of the room. Yeah. And then I believe, yeah. And I think we also have some OG alumni that were here on year one, right? You, you do not want me to call you out? <laughs> All right. I do know there are, there are a couple of people who have been, who's been here to every single one of them. I got Mike and Jeff and Jason. I think, I thought Paula was... I really can't see, so uh, anyways. But there are a couple people that we know that are here that have been to every, to every single summit. And of course, we appreciate all of our alumni. So let's talk about this week. It's pretty similar to last year. For those of you who raised your hand, you weren't here last year. Here's, what, here's kind of what you need to know. This is the Washington Ballroom. This is where we have breakfast and lunch every day. This is also where our pure storage community happy hour is going to be tonight. We'll talk a little bit about that here in a minute. So just a quick rundown of the schedule. First and foremost, check the schedule and check it often because if there are some changes, that's where that's where it'll be. Uh, if you haven't checked it, like in the last two weeks, you know some some room some rooms got rooms got shuffled around, and we did have I think at least one speaker drop out about two weeks ago. So if you haven't checked it recently, you should probably do that. So today we're going to be uh, we're going to be in here until 2 p.m. and then at 2 p.m. we're going to move downstairs. We have four rooms downstairs. There's Redmond, Bellevue One. Bellevue 2 and Seattle. They're all kind of, you go down the stairs and they're, they're, right, they're right there. So that's kind of where, we're, where we'll be at. And then we'll be back in here at 5 o'clock. You can't come in here between 2 and 5 because we had to flip the room. So it's going to look a lot different when you come back in here at 5. Again, it's the uh, community happy hour sponsored by our platinum sponsors over there, Pure Storage. Uh, we, pre we appreciate all, uh, those guys. And we're also going to have a poker night. So imagine that this half of the room is going to be a casino. And this half of the room is going to have so much food at it that you're going to be like, oh my god, I can't eat anymore. Because that's what happened last year. So we, all, we will be giving away some, door pri some prizes again for those of you that are participating in the casino night, including the person who ends up with the most um, chips. Yeah, who, who, ends up, who ends up with the most, the, with the most uh, point value for the chips, not the most chips. Uh, then the, obviously that person will win a free ticket to the 2024 show next year. So make sure you're taking advantage. And you can also, if you run out of chips, the only way to get more chips is to go talk to our vendors because they, have, they are the bank. So you got to go talk to them. And from there, you can get more chips. And then you can, then you can come back here and pl uh, play your, I think we have roulette, craps, blackjack, and a few other things. Tuesday, we're going to be in breakout sessions all day. So come in here and breakfast, leave here about 8.45, go down, uh, go downstairs and we have breakout sessions. I think we have 90-minute sessions in the morning, 45-minute sessions in the afternoon. And then we'll be back up here at 3, it says 3.15, it's actually 3 o'clock. We'll be back up here for 3 o'clock for the community lightning demos. Um, so what is a community lightning demo? So real quick, it is a five to seven minute Presentation. It's not even a presentation. It's a demo of something cool that you have done. Uh, everyone has had pro has problems at work, and everyone has a solution to a problem you have had. And I promise you are not the only person to ever have this problem. You are not unique in that sense. There are probably 40 to 50 people in here that had the same problem. And if you can share what you what you've experienced and, and whatnot, then you can help those people who are having problems. Some of the, or one of the benefits of the community lightning demos uh, tomorrow is for those of you that do sign up and do present, your name will be going, going into a drawing for our two $50 Amazon gift cards that we'll be handing out that are sponsored by our friend Script Runner because they couldn't be here in person because flights from Germany are really expensive. So they're going to be sponsoring Amazon gift cards, and the only way to get a gift card or to get your name put in a hat to get a drawing at the end of uh, the lightning demo, so at 5 o'clock we'll draw, must be present to win 
is to do a lightning demo. So scan the QR code uh, if you want to sign up. Spaces are limited, and we are already filling up. I think there's already over a dozen people signed up already. 10, I'm being told there's 10. And we have room for about 20, so if you want to get, you want to get signed up, the link is scan the QR code. It's also floating on the PowerPoint that's going at meals. And Phil Bossman, he's up in the back. Say hi, Phil. Hi, Phil. Phil is running our lightning demos, and he has also posted the link in Slack. So if you're thinking about doing a lightning demo, go ahead and do it. It's only five minutes. If you go past seven, we are literally going to turn the microphone off and switch to the next person. So you cannot go past seven minutes whatsoever. And then, as if you haven't had, a, had enough fun already, we're going to be going to Lucky Strike, where, again, Pure Storage is sponsoring the Pure Code Happy Hour. Again, there's going to be some, uh, some beverages and food provided and discounts on bowling and the arcade, the arcade rentals. Not, not the arcade rentals, the arcade cards you can get. So come on out from 6 to 8 over at Lucky Strike. That's over in Lincoln Square Mall. It's not bad. It's a, it's a downhill the whole way. Just Uber back. Wednesday, again, breakout sessions all day afternoon. This is where we have our evening reception. We are going to be at the, in the top golf suites over at the Forum Social House. It's a fantastic venue. It is on the third floor of Lincoln Square. Uh, again, walk there, Uber back, because that hill is no joke. And then we're just going to be downstairs uh, all day. We won't be back in here other than meals. And then to round out the week, Thursday, by this point, your head is like, oh my God, I hurt so bad. I have so much information. Well, we're going to put some more information into your, into your brain uh, in the morning. And then we're going to come here and we're going to have the docs team. If you've been here before, we're not doing Iron Scripter this year. I was expecting applause. Okay. Uh, so we're, we're, we're not going to, we're going to retire, retire Iron Scripter for a couple of years and we are going to come and do a docathon. We are partnering with our friends over on the PowerShell docs team. There's Sean. Everybody say, hi, Sean. I think Sean in help with, I think, at least Mike Robbins and maybe Bender, I think. If not, maybe now Bender, you know. Uh, so they're gonna have, but we're gonna have about two, two and a half hours in here helping make the PowerShell docs better. Part of being a community member and engaging with the PowerShell community is giving back. And the way that we're gonna give back this year is by helping and contributing to the docs. These, uh, these, are these are open source docs. Even if it's just a little, you'd be amazed how many error messages have, syn have syntax errors in them. Like they're missing a comma. Something's not capitalized correctly. These are the types of things that anybody can fix. You don't have to know in depth how get time span works. You can like, oh, this error message needs a comma here. Let's put a comma and make a pull request. They're going to walk you through that what that entire process looks like. And we, I think we were also talking about giving out some uh, gift cards to those who help contribute the most during that, that, during that time as well. And then we have no, f nothing formal on Thursday. Thursday is more just a lot of people leave, you know, leave out. If you got people that live on the West Coast, you can't get a flight out, uh, out, out that late to go out. So if you want to kind of get a group together, hop into Slack, hop into Dinner Tonight channel, make plans, go do something fun. If you're gonna make a big group and you wanna go eat, Make a reservation, because a lot of these places around here, uh, anybody go to ramen last night? Yeah, how'd that go? It went wonderfully, uh, th you know, thanks to John's big smile. Uh, but if you want to go, if you're going to go anywhere in Bellevue, and if you want to take more than six people, I highly suggest you go and get a reservation, just because it's Bellevue, it's busy, and they get really kind of perturbed when you just randomly walk in with a group of 20 people. Hey, yeah, someone lost their phone. All right, just some quick tips to help make your week better. First and foremost, we want to see all the pictures that you're taking. Harjeet cannot take every single picture for us, no matter how, how much we want him to. He can't be in five places at once. So post, so to post your pictures online on whatever social media platform of your choice is, and just make sure you use the hashtag PSH Summit. That way we can find it. And share, and we'll share it with others. If you haven't already, download the Summit here, the Summit here's manual. It has all the information that I have not spit out at you at leanpub.com slash summit here manual. You also got an email up, email about it, and I'll post the link in Slack. Can you turn the podium mic off? Thank you. I had to say this, but you must wear your name badge at all times. This is an insurance thing. We had to buy insurance on all of you. Uh, 
So if you don't have your name badge, we're either gonna, we're going to very politely, or depending on how many times I tell you, not so politely, uh, the name badge must be out. It must be visible. It cannot be on your belt. It cannot be dangling somewhere around your neck. Uh, you know, we paid extra to get the extra long name tags or extra long lanyards. And this goes true for the Wednesday offsite. So you must, in order to get into the forum on Wednesday, thou must have a badge or thou will not get in. Uh, when this happens every year, we turn people away at the door and they're like, what? Well, I'm like, I know you're here, but I have to have something to identify you by and that is your badge. Oh, okay, a few other, a few other things. Uh, this, is a non, this is a non-smoking facility. Obviously, if you wanna smoke, you must go out the doors and go 50 feet in either direction. Uh, if, if, that's what, if that's what you want to do, um, then you go do you, just do it 50 feet in either direction from the front door. You go, go out to the sidewalk and then walk 50 feet. Don't, don't try to go 50 feet into the grass. There's also dog poop and dog pee over, over in that little grass courtyard, so don't go walking around there either. All right, and kind of, kind of lastly, again, we talked about this little thing called a pandemic that happened. During that time, obviously, a lot of people got shuttered at home and other priorities were taking effect, and we lost all but one of our, of our community volunteers. We used to be a team of 20 to 30 volunteers, ranging anything from our forum moderators, web, website admins, uh, guest bloggers on our PowerShell.org. We lost everybody. Like we have one forum moderator. Our forums get over 100,000 views a month. Out of the 20,000 messages um, get posted to the forums every month. And we have one guy, his name is Olaf. He lives in Germany, he's fantastic. Uh, but he obviously can't do that on his own. So if you are interested in volunteering with us, either whether you want to help help a summit, help actually put, put the show on, we have some holes that we need to fill uh, to help kind of put this event on. Uh, that does come with a free ticket. Uh, we also are looking for at least one, if not two, two or three webmasters. It's a, it's a WordPress site. It's fine. I've been doing it by myself for a couple of years, uh, but I have two kids at home now, and I just don't have enough brain power uh, to do that. Uh, we're, again, we're looking for some forum moderators, so if you want to help, uh, help, help, help people online with the, with the forums, that would be great. And we're also looking for some more guest bloggers on PowerShell.org. PowerShell.org gets over 100,000 views a month based on, and that's just for the content that has been posted since it started back in 2015. So we're kind of looking for some, new, for some newer content. So here is what I'm offering. To the, oh, this offer is only valid to the people in this room. So don't go off tweeting it anywhere. Uh, we're looking for 24 individuals that are willing to write one blog post in the next 12 months. So what that is, that's two blog posts every month. And what we'll do, if we can get 24 people to sign up and commit uh, to that this week, then I will take those 24 people, put their name in a hat, and then we will, um, one of those 24 people will get a free ticket to Summit next year. So, I mean, you can write a one-page article about something that you did, you did pretty cool, about 1,000, 2,000 words, and be entered into a drawing to, uh, to summit next year. So valid is only good for this week. That must shine up this week. I'll, I'll drop a link off in, off in Slack. Uh, you don't have to write it this week. You just need to commit to a month when you're going to deliver, deliver that to me. Sound good? All right. Again, 24 people must sign up, and then... Once we get all 24 people, then we'll, then we'll draw for that free ticket for next year. All right, well, that is all that I have. I think we're gonna do just a, we're gonna have, here's, here's what's gonna happen next. We're going to take like a quick five minute break. Don't try to go anywhere, because it's like, actually it's gonna be like four minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, so, and then our keynote speaker, we have Brendan Burns over from Microsoft. He is gonna be with us and gonna give us a fantastic presentation. And then after that, then we'll have a 30 minute break. And then we're going to hear from the PowerShell team, Jason, Sydney, Steve, and Steven. Yeah. And then we're going to have lunch. And I'm not going to go past lunch because I don't have enough brain power to think that far in advance. All right, so five minutes. Let's clear, uh, clear your tables off. Get refills on coffee or drinks if you need something. And we'll reconvene at 535.